Tech Sergeant Waters, in my opinion, served the 221st and this platoon in particular with distinction, and I for one shall miss the man. But, no matter what we think of the sergeant's death, we will not allow this incident to make us forget our responsibilities to this uniform. We are soldiers, and our war is with the Nazis and the Japs, not the civilians in Tynan. Any enlisted men found with unauthorized weapons will immediately be subject to summary court-martial. The sergeant's replacement won't be assigned for several weeks. Until that time, you're all to report to Sergeant Dorsey of C Company. Corporal Cobb will be the barracks NCO. Any questions? Who do you think did it, sir? There are no suspects at this time. You know the Klan did it, sir. Were you an eyewitness, soldier? Who else goes around killing Negroes in the South? They lynched Jefferson the week I got here, sir, and a signal corps got Daniels two months later. Unless you saw something, Henson, you keep your opinions to yourself. Is that clear? That's an order. And it also applies to everybody else. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now you men that have duties this afternoon report to the orderly's office for your assignments. The rest of you are on the colonel's quarters cleanup detail. Cobb, I'm gonna see you in my office at 1350 hours. Yes, sir. As of 0600 hours this morning, the town of Tynan was placed off limits to all military personnel. Friday night dance is canceled. Oh, God. Okay, okay. A few of the officers are going to see the colonel. I can't promise anything. Right now it's canceled. Turn up! As you were. The one thing that I really, really like about this play is not only is it a sort of a murder mystery, who done it, uh, but the backdrop, of course, is that it's a play that deals with race relations in America during World War II. My technical sergeant, Waters, has been killed at the beginning of the play, and throughout the rest of the story, Taylor himself is on a drive to find who is responsible for the murder of his sergeant. It's supposed to be something that's short and sweet in a sense. Get, get in, file a report, and it's over with. But when I get there, I find out that there is a, a whole lot more going on than just being able to file a report and be done. It's a unique period in history on the cusp of the, uh, the black soldiers being integrated into the white army. So there is a sea change that's about to happen uh, in terms of the evolution of race relations and the recognition that black soldiers can fight side by side with white soldiers. Sergeant Waters wants the African American race to be as strong as any other race. Uh, as, as strong as the white race, as he puts it. He says he, he wants uh, lawyers, generals, doctors, senators, uh, and, and he wants them to be, you know, at the top of the line, not just a, as a background. In the course of the whole uh, storyline, Waters' character is someone who uh, really struggles with a, his way of separating the good black soldiers from what he believes to be the embarrassment to his race. Taylor, I think, represents uh, the resistance to change, as it were, as, uh, as Davenport comes in as the first Negro officer that he's ever met, and that initial change uh, in the military, uh, Taylor is the one who fights him all along the way. I'm not afraid of white men, Captain. Then why won't you arrest them? Because I do what the facts tell me, Captain, not you! You don't know what a fact is, Davenport! Taking your part, What sir. is it, Corporal? Uh, 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 it's for Captain Davenport. We found Private Wilkie, sir. We haven't located PFC Peterson yet. Seems him and Private Smalls went out on detail together and neither one of them showed up. But I got a few men from company looking for him around the NCO club and in the PX, sir. Where's Wilkie? He's waiting for you in the barracks, Captain. Didn't you question Wilkie and Peterson yesterday? Davenport? Hey! Don't you ignore me! Get off my back! What I do, how I do it, who I interrogate is my business, Captain! This investigation is mine. Mine! Don't treat me with that kind of contempt. I'm not some redneck cracker. And I'm not your yes sir and colored boy either. I asked you a question. I don't have to answer it. Indeed you don't, Captain. Now, Captain, what if Bird and Wilcox are telling the truth? Neither one of us believes that. What if they are? Then who killed the goddamn man? I don't know yet. Is there anything else? No, Hotshot, nothing. And that's where the breakdown really happens throughout the entire play. We really don't see eye to eye at all. 
but there are times where where he's he's genuinely giving me some information as as if he wants to help. The battling of egos is really at the heart of that story as well. So I, those dynamics are quite fascinating as we discover the truth buried deep underneath the uh, surface.